Our expectations for this year is improve on what we did last year. I felt really uh, good about a lot of things being first year head coach with 15 guys that never coached before. And we did did some good things. We had a winning season, which um, was a great start, and I'm hoping to improve upon that. When you have guys that are, that are older and they appreciate it and they value what they put in, they, they'd like to see this thing through and do really well. Naruago and Brian Barber are the key pieces to the puzzle. Uh, they, they've had a year play under the system. Brian went from being a uh, very limited player as a freshman to being a full-time starter, almost 35 minutes a game, I believe. And Narua going from being a sophomore all-league player, being a first-team all-league player. So we'll play off them a lot. I think we have the best backcourt in the league, um, and they'll shape it a lot. And we also have uh, Mark Sisko, who started some games for us a lot last year. I see those guys being there, the three pieces that we're going to need to win big. A guy like Matt Johnson, who was started to come on at the end of last year, I think his role, he is going to have an opportunity to play a lot more. Steve Eggie, who's been uh, in and out of the lineup, but he, his leadership is exceptional. Uh, probably be named a captain. Uh, Chris Crockett is a guy who didn't play any games last year, but he's, he's been really good early on in practice. Columbia, we have our own little system. We kind of value things basketball-wise that I don't think other people do. And a lot of, and we, like I said, we measure it every day, and there's stats that we have that other people don't have. They're just specific to our program. So, and they l really value things such as passing and taking charges and stuff like that. They're unselfish plays that I think we reward it. We, we track them and who's making the most and who's completing passes. I don't pay much attention to the rankings. Doesn't doesn't shock me either way. I, I do think this league is really good. We were six and eight last year in league, and we'd lost a double overtime game to Yale. If we'd won that game, we'd been a three-way tie with Penn, Yale, and us. So you throw a hat over those three teams, and Cornell was right there. So very very close, tight race. We're starting off with University of Connecticut. I know obviously when we scheduled the game, I don't think we knew they were national champions, but uh, it's going to be an exciting environment. There's a chance for our guys to play against the best and we have an expression every game regardless who we're playing it's respect to everyone fear no one i think it's great for columbia basketball i think it's for our community we have a chance to play on national tv um, kind of put ourselves out there and see what we can do